Hello there, everybody. This is Collar, and welcome to another commentary from the Avalon MSL. This time I'm actually going to be doing uh, a series that was played about two weeks ago that nobody has uh, done a commentary of yet, uh, at least in my uh, what I found. Um, this is Hwasen versus Luxury in the Avalon MSL uh, Group A of the round of 32. And uh, this is actually um, going to be the series where the reigning champion, the defending champion, Luxury, uh, is going to be playing. Um, now, Luxury has actually been doing not very well since winning the MSL. In fact, I just did a quick look at his stats, and he is a very, very unimpressive 6 out of uh, 19 victories. Uh, so he is 6 and 13 since winning the MSL in all of his games. Um, in fact, he would be worse if he hadn't won, uh, won a couple of ZVZs recently. But uh, that's not very impressive, to say the least. He was knocked out of both the OSL and the GOM TV. So we'll see what happens here. Um, he's facing uh, Hwasen, who uh, made it pretty far in the last Star League. Um, Hwasen is a player who always perennially makes it fairly far and then uh, never really wins anything, unfortunately for him. Um, you know, maybe he'll change that. We'll have to see how his luck is uh, this season. Um, he did, uh, you know, beat Hiva to uh, advance in the Bakwas OSL into the round of 30, uh, thir no, sorry, into the round of 16. And uh, last season, he did make it uh, very far in the uh, OSL also, getting beaten by uh, by Hero. Anyway, though, we have a game here on, uh, this is Heartbreak Ridge, of course, and uh, we've got Hwasa on the right, Luxury on the left. I have no idea why Luxury is playing poorly. Um, <laughs> I mean, he, he beat Jangbi pretty solidly in the finals and was very happy, you know, as he deserves it. And then he just started sucking. I mean, he had like a eight-game losing streak or something um, like a month ago. I mean, wh where does that come from? I, I have no idea, but uh, I suspect it uh, may be uh, Flash poisoning him. Um, that's right, Flash's uh, jealousy uh, at, at no longer being the uh, winningest uh, KTF player. So uh, now Flash is once again... <laughs> <laughs> you know, the winningest. I don't know. That's totally made up. Um, maybe they actually switched him with Yellow Arnak because they're like, all right, now it's time for uh, Yellow to win one, so we're just going to dress Yellow uh, in your clothes and uh, bring him over to the KTF house and say it's luxury. Who knows? But uh, actually, even Yellow's not that bad, though. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to see what Hwasen does here on this map. Um, it's actually uh, a, not a bad map for a Medic Marine build, in my opinion, although... Uh, you know, obviously Mech has been standard for TVZ in the last year or so. And here we're going to see some kind of 12 hatch, most likely, from Luxury. Um, and there we go, planting it down. Yeah, I mean, Luxury, uh, he is such a, an interesting player. I mean, he I, I feel like he has a lot of, uh, of skill, but it just... It, it, he's very controlled by his own, you know, emotional state, just as much as uh, Savior is, you know, some of the uh, more temperamental players. Uh, you know, obviously, I always say the example where he um, was up 2-0 against Best uh, a couple of seasons ago in a best of five, and he lost it um, because he just, just fell apart. And best beat him one game, and then the second game, and then he was, like, basically, like, crying to his coach and just, like, couldn't play anymore. So <laughs> we'll see um, if, if that happens. Uh, we've got a factory going up from Hwasen. Uh, so he's not going to go M&M. Um, Hwasen, uh, you know, he's had a, a decent record recently. Uh, he did lose in a very nice um, best of three series uh, to, to Buy Hero, which I recommend you guys watch. Uh, but Buy Hero had a tough time beating Hwasen. I mean, that was a, uh, a very impressive series um, for both players. Lots of uh, lots of action and and, and creative play, um, and uh, you know these. Are the, I think the other two players in this group. I'm actually going to just take a quick look. Uh, I actually don't remember who the other players are, um, but I'll be doing the uh, first half of this group, of course, uh, the, the half that has been played, and maybe some games from the OSL or MSL um, scattered here or there. Uh, the reason why we haven't been doing more dual commentaries recently is honestly because. Uh, at least for me, I've been pretty busy with uh, with moving. Um, by the way, uh, you, got, you guys aren't necessarily correct about Toronto. Uh, I'm not denying or confirming that, but <laughs> evidently someone in my profile said, are you in Toronto, cholera? And then everyone who was from Toronto was like, yeah, I'm from Toronto, where do you live? And like, great, you're in Toronto. I'm like, what, Toronto? I mean, it might be it. You guys might be right, or you might be totally off. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> I never confirmed that one. Uh, but anyway, uh, looks like we got an expansion going down for Hwasen. Um, we've got a lot of people, uh, let me see this, uh, actually people are favoring Hwasen to win this one actually. 61% saying Hwasen's going to win. Interesting. 
Um, given the fact that uh, Luxury is the reigning champion, I guess people are also uh, buying into the fact that he has been playing very well. We're just noticing that fact, and certainly that is uh, an important thing to notice. Um, you know, I mean, it, he is one of those players who's streaky. And uh, looks like we're going to see Hwasen trying to sneak a, uh, <laughs> a Vulture through. Meanwhile, uh, Luxury has gone for Hydralisk then off of three hatcheries. Standard opening here for Luxury. Um, standard, you know, defensive Zerg opening against the mech build. Luxury losing two Lings here, but that helped a little bit to delay. I think he might have done enough damage that uh, that, that Vulture might get taken down pretty easily. Yeah, two hits. There we go. Very nicely done by Luxury there. Um, a Vulture has, uh, has uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> um, 80 hit points, and uh, that Sunken Colony is going to do uh, 30 damage to it with every hit because uh, a Vulture is medium-sized, so he needed to take 20 hit points off of the, the Vulture to make it a, a two-hit kill from that Sunken, and that's what Luxury did. I mean, these tiny things totally matter in StarCraft, uh, of course. Um, we got two Hydralisks out for Luxury. He's actually chasing uh, the first Vulture back. Second Vulture is going to come in, and... Um, you know, we're going to see what what happens here with this fast expand build. We've seen a couple of different versions of this over time, and uh, possibly uh, it could be a drop, of course, um, sort of the F build. Uh, it could also be a lot of speed vultures with mines, um, try to do a run by, or uh, just a defensive build, and uh, followed by goliaths. And oh, it is going to be mines. Um, so we could be seeing just a, a standard uh, factory build here, and we are actually, yeah, we see Hwasen putting down, um, there, there's the second factory, and there is the armory, so he is going to be going for uh, the Mass Goliath build here. And I actually like this build a lot, lot more than the Vulture Drop, as you guys who watch my commentary probably know. I, I really think the Vulture Drop is very risky and very... Um, you know, very <laughs> predictable in many ways, and very counterable also. This doesn't have a direct counter, this build here. I mean, uh, if you scout out the Vulture Drop, and <laughs> you're prepared with a couple of, uh, like, one Sunken at each base, that Vulture Drop isn't going to do anything, no matter how good your micro is. Um, and uh, you're going to be way behind when Mutalisks come out, and uh, etc. Of course, people generally follow up with Valkyries, and then the Valkyries are a whole new uh, can of worms that often don't work well, that can of fail worms. Um, like... You know, those disgusting worms that, like, live in your body and stuff. Not not good earthworms. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we've got a spire coming out. And uh, we're going to have some mutalisks um, uh, coming out, perhaps. Uh, and, and we're going to see what kind of harassment can come out of this. Actually, Luxury has a good number of hydralisks, which means he might not actually build that many mutas. Uh, we'll have to see. He probably will, though. I mean, it looks like he's got a lot of eggs. And uh, mutalisks are very useful. Um, they really force the Terran player to uh, stay in his base with his Goliaths because um, otherwise uh, he can go out and attack. But if you have a lot of mutas, then he can't leave his base. He has to stay and defend his SCVs. And uh, meanwhile, we see Hwasen putting turrets up also. He's not going to just rely on his Goliaths. Pretty smart, given that Luxury is very good with his micro. Looks like we got two drones coming out also. Um, I think these drones are trying to expand, but oh, Hwasen doing a great job here. Is he going to get both? He gets both. Very nice work there by Hwasen, I gotta say, pimp. Um, and, and that's gonna set Luxury back a few seconds, and, and that absolutely matters in a, a close matchup like this. Um, we've seen a, a lot of good games, by the way, recently uh, in, the, in both Star Leagues. Um, you should definitely check out uh, Klazart's commentaries of uh, Savior versus Kanata in the MSL, and uh, a couple of the other MSL commentaries. Um, a, a lot of the groups that haven't been done will be done by some of the other commentators, like uh, Group B, I think Moltrap will do. That's Stork, uh, sorry, Bisu and Jangbi are in it, and um, Group uh, H with Firebat Hero will be done by Rise. I would love to do them, except uh, unfortunately right now it's uh, we're, we can't arrange times for duels. That was a nice mine, by the way. That, so Hwasen doing a great job here. He obviously has practiced um, starting off with his Vulture build and certainly uh, has, has very good tactics here. He's gained himself a little bit of a lead, although still Luxury has managed to expand again. But I, I predict that um, if, if Luxury can't hold off, well, if Luxury can't do something to the...